ladies and gentlemen. You know, I saw this story yesterday about Shannon Sharp leaving Undisputed. And I've been looking at all of the reasons that I have seen out here. And, you know, some people think it's Damar Hamlin, you know, what happened with Skip Bayless and what he said, and people felt he was uncaring. And some people feel the dispute was over uh, Tom Brady and how uh, Skip Bayless kind of went out of pocket on that one. And, and then I read that some people are saying that Shannon Sharp did not have a lot of input on the kind of topics that they would talk about on the show. Now, and I also read some people said he was there for five years. I read another article said he was there for seven years. Well, regardless to whether he was there five or seven years, let's really talk, y'all. Let's really talk. Many of us have been around these Skip Bayless types. And if you worked out here or you're in uh, any type of position where you're interacting with a lot of people, you ran across a Skip Bayless type, okay? And when you have to work around this type of personality every day, it's usually a combination of reasons of why you leave. It, it, it's highly doubtful, in my opinion, that Shannon Sharp is leaving over one dispute Usually it is an accumulation of many things over the years. Y'all think about some of these folks you had to work around and endure and had to sit and listen to, and it you cringed every time they opened their mouth. And y'all know what I mean. And you tell me if it was just one reason when you decided to get away from this toxic person, was it just one reason? Usually it's not. It's usually a bunch of reasons why you are departing from that person. Now, yeah, I saw the dispute he had you know, over Tom Brady and Damar Hamlin and how Shannon Sharp didn't even show up the next day after Skip Bayless posted out on Twitter over Damar Hamlin. I saw all of that. And I bet you when Shannon finally talk, it's going to be a lot of reasons why he left. So, but I listened to some of the videos out here and people made good points, but that's where I fall short with a lot of them. You can't tell me somebody that sat there from what 2016 or possibly 2014 and they just got one reason on why they're leaving that is highly doubtful so we know he's been on undisputed with skip bayless and you know to be honest with you shannon really had between the two men he really had the strongest personality. Skip is just your typical dude that is he, you know, they love people like Skip love sports commentary because they get to sit there and tear down a black man that is way more talented than he is. They love sitting in the position to do that. And y'all know I'm telling the truth. They do. And he does not have that same personality. He really don't. I don't know who they will put in his place, but I can tell you Skip won't be able to carry the show off by himself. He just don't have a strong enough personality. The only time he becomes controversial if he's saying something outlandish, and people like him usually do that on purpose. What other way is he going to get attention? He don't have the personality. He never had the personality. But Shannon does. And wherever he goes or whatever he decides to do, he's going to have a big following behind him. Now, do I agree with Shannon? No, he took some positions I absolutely did not agree with him on. 
and he got caught out there cooning out a few times too. So no, I definitely did not agree. You know, there are some people that said they had a feeling he was going to leave. Yeah. I mean, look at what you have to endure, you know? So of course, when the news broke, it just went crazy on social media altogether, especially out on Twitter. And it, of course, there were a lot of people putting their tweets out, trying to speculate on why he was leaving. And I saw a lot of stuff out there. You know, we saw the arguments breaking out between um, Skip and Shannon. And I don't know. You know, yeah, he took some shots and um, Shannon, I don't know. Sometimes Shannon act like Skip was his friend, but Skip was not his friend. He was not his friend the whole time he was there. So, <clears throat> you know, Tom Brady was one that heavily came up and we saw that debate uh he made, um, Skip Bayless made a direct comparison with Shannon and Tom Brady. And, you know, it was just to insult him, you know, and he told Bayless told Sharp that, uh, Tom Brady was way better than he was. And I'm like, well, Skip Shannon was way better of an athlete than you were. I mean, if you really want to go there, but, you know, hey, he he didn't want to take that kind of shot. But if I was sitting there, I would have took that kind of shot at him. <laughs> I would have done it. And, you know, earlier this year, Shannon took issues with the way Bayless tweeted about Buffalo Bills, DeMar Hamlin. You know, Bayless tweeted about the Bills versus Cincinnati Bengals game the Hamlin, you know, needed some serious medical attention. I mean, this man came close to losing his life out there on that football field. And that next day, after he put that tweet out there, Shannon Sharp was absent. He did not show up for the show at all. And Skip pretty much um, tucked his tail and had to walk back, you know, walk back the words that he said. So, and I remember when he came back on the show, he did urge Skip to reconsider that tweet he put out there. So it will be interesting to see what direction Shannon Sharp goes in. You know, um, I am one person I don't do a lot of sports videos, but I do read a lot of the sport articles that come out, you know, only because, I mean, people are still playing sports. That has not stopped. Now, I don't do a lot of videos on it, but I certainly do watch what's going on. And I mean, there were some things I was very interested in. And, and quite frankly, I do like uh, some of the sports commentary, and I do watch a lot of it. You know, many of you just don't know. I do watch a lot of it behind the scenes, and I look at it, and, and it's interesting to me. I know it's not interesting to everybody. Some people could care less about sports, and and you have the right to take that position. I'm not trying to change your mind, but it is something that I've always been interested in, and um. And to be honest with you, I'm looking forward to seeing who they're going to replace uh, Shannon Sharp with. And I tell you what, Skip is probably still going to look dry regardless to who they put next to him, as in my opinion. He's still going to look like a dried up old man to me. But y'all going to have to tell me what you think about this video please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.